Hi, good morning to you. Yeah, East Hampton High School already has an armed guard, but this now extends that to their ele elementary schools and their middle school as well. Now, it was a unanimous decision last night by the Board of Education to make this happen. They want armed guards now at Memorial Center and East Hampton Middle Schools. It's a similar decision to at least a handful of other Connecticut school districts upping their police presence in the wake of the Uvalde, Texas shooting. Now the vote coming after a public meeting where parents got a chance to express their thoughts. Now at that meeting, the superintendent also shared a recent survey showing that 81% of parents and 73% of staff support adding armed guards. Now the board also spoke up before they took their vote. To not vote for armed guards in, in, in our most vulnerable, vulnerable kids schools is to accept their certain death when an incident like this occurs. Because all those other ideas are great, but when the bullets start flying, only one thing matters, ending the threat. I want to be clear that I don't think that armed security is the solution here. I don't think that it's the answer, but I do think it can be part of a multi-layered solution. The board says that they are investing in other mental health programs as well, including mental health clinics and looking into the Sandy Hook Promise Say Something campaign. Now, the board has already set their budget for the school year, so they won't be getting this money right now from that budget. So they have to now go to the town to ask for the funding to pay for these armed security guards, who, by the way, will be retired police officers and state troopers here in Connecticut. And the price tag for that it'll be $150,000, but they hope to make it happen by the start of the school year. We are live in East Hampton. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61 News.